I'm, I feel numb right now. I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm just excited. Uh, you know, uh, Montreal Woods, thank you so much for taking this chance on me. And I'm just ready to go to work. You know, when you uh, came into uh, the program, I don't know if it was your vision to, you know, actually take this to the next level. To get to this point, um, is there is that a rewarding factor to one that, you know, your talents can go to the next level? Honestly, you know, I didn't even think I'd play football in the first place when I came to Canada. Um, you know, we just got here and, you know, my Canadian parents, Kevin and Kate Miller, uh, they're in Victoria right now. They made this happen. They got me into school. They taught me how to become a student and a person. Uh, you know, my mother, she instilled, my volunteer mother, she, you know, she instilled, like, you know, toughness and hard work in me. And honestly, just been hard work and a lot of, you know, 5 a.m. workouts to get to this point. But again, this is just a dream come true. Just trying to take you through, I don't know if you have a handful of teams that called and, you know, or, you know kind of got, had interest in you. Yeah. Um, you know, was this one of the teams that you felt like, you know, wanted to be able to learn to learn out with you? Yeah, for sure, absolutely. You know, any any all the teams that I talked to through the draft process at the at the combine, I, I felt like I did pretty well. And uh, Montreal, you know, they were intrigued by me, but I felt like other teams were too. But honestly, you never know until you hear it in the car. So I'm just excited for this opportunity. Were you this nervous? I got to take those emotions because you're thinking, okay, I could potentially go in by the late third or fourth yeah. round, and then all of a sudden yeah. you see the rounds go by, you're like, is there a moment you're like, am I ever going to get picked? Yeah, honestly, I was texting the guys, Hunter and Ecstaz, and I was just like, we're getting into uncharted ter territory. As I'm like, you know, we're starting to kind of get nervous. I've been pacing back and forth. I didn't really sit down for much of this event. Um, and yeah, I was just, like I said, I now that I'm picked, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what I feel right now, but I just know I'm excited and I'm happy to get to work. Yeah, how does that motivate you knowing that you're also going to be um yeah so whatever happens i'm just gonna go in training camp do my best for forward ready to compete to play and uh depend on what the team says if that's what they want me to do that's what i'll do whatever they think is best for my development that's what i'll do but i'm ready to go to work regardless a lot of pacing a lot of back and forth anticipating where you're gonna go and you know the stamps talk to you so every time they're on the board you're like oh, we got another guy. I'm like, okay, time's coming. Hey, it's your hometown team. What's that feeling yeah. like? I can't really explain the feel. You know, it's kind of like something you dream about when you're a kid, you know, getting drafted in the CFL. Of course, like, your hometown team is something special for sure. Yeah, I can know every time the, tab, the stats were up, I'm like, okay, maybe this is it, this is it. And then, you know, it finally came. Actually, like, didn't he, my family was, like, re refreshing the feed. And we didn't even know until someone, like, Joel Van Pelt stood up. He's like, Nick, you got picked up. It's pretty cool, yeah. It was a cool experience for sure. What does it mean that you're going to be wearing that horse on the side of that helmet yeah. and you have the hat on right now? Man. Yeah. What's that feeling? No, that's going to be something special for sure. You know, growing up in Calgary, it's actually funny. I used to be, when I was younger, I was a, a Riders fan growing up because my, my, my dad's side of the family is from Saskatchewan. So, of course, he converted me young was like, okay, you're a Riders fan. So, I was a huge Riders fan growing up. And then, as I got a bit older, I started just, uh, like, enjoying just the league more itself, especially when I got to university. You know, a lot of my teammates and stuff started playing in the league and the guys I used to play against started you know, going to the league, so I started voting, like kind of cheering for those guys. And then, and at the back of my head, I was always kind of a stats fan, just like, obviously I'm from Calgary, right? So, you know, it's, it's definitely a blessing to be at home and playing for Calgary. Obviously, this is a strong program, right? So, I mean, defending, uh, like defending Great Cup champions, can't really ask for, you know, better team coaching, so. Uh, just looking at the names, you see down there, I guess your name will be joining the list when it comes to, you know, former Dinos turned Eskimos. What is it you mean? How exciting are you? Ah, I'm very excited. I mean, this was, uh, it took a little bit longer than I was hoping, but I mean, I'm ecstatic. I'm ready to go and uh, start getting to work and hopefully win a great cup. When you uh, have the opportunity, you're sitting out there just waiting for that chance to be picked. You see your name going, or you see all these names getting picked, but you're still sitting by. And it's taking through those emotions where you're like, just anybody pick me at this point? Yeah, it definitely was. I mean, that was the biggest thing is somebody picked me. Um, and I mean, I had read a lot of this stuff before the draft, and it was this guy's gonna be a steal of the draft, this guy's gonna be a late round pick. Um, that's kind of what I feel. I mean, I feel kind of undervalued, so I want to go out and kind of prove myself. Same thing I have to do at university. In that case, what are some of the things that the Edmonton Eskimos can be looking forward to when they have you dressed in the green bowl? Um, they're looking for a guy that gives it all 100% all the time. Um, guy just works hard inside and outside the stadium. Um, 
yeah, it's just I'm just excited and ready to get to work. Uh, I sound like uh, I don't know if you're having a conversation with them, but like you know, they kind of want you to kind of be uh, I don't know, was a slot guy or as opposed, as opposed to just a whiteout. Yeah, he was saying uh, mainly focus on special teams right now, and then um, in the next couple of years they'll be focusing on uh, inside slot and then the outside receiver. And he's pretty much the same thing I learned here: is learn every position, learn the concepts, and be able to play any position when it's needed. And so being here was a huge step for me. They saw a couple of other good receivers. Nate Colpon, you see his name out there as well. Uh, another uh, SIC, like, 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 I joined the Eskimos, and uh, also I joined the Eskimos as a player when it came to the group as well. Uh, is those kind of footsteps that you know that you see from, you know, Dinos alone that can take it to the next level? Is that something that motivates you? Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, it's the same thing I've played with multiple guys that have played in the CFL and a lot of great cups. And, it's uh, shoes you want to fill, but shoes you definitely want to bypass at the same time. You want to be, it's that competitiveness, you want to beat them at the same time. So uh, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to start competing against guys that I played with and guys that I grew up watching at the same time.